Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving proportionalities. This is standard 6.5 being the great state of Texas and we are using item number 47 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, quite a few numbers, but we don't actually need these years. That's a little bit of extra information. What we have is we have a total, and that's going to be very important. I'm going to put total down here. Total of 8,950 libraries. And then a survey found that 76% of those libraries offered free access. So based on this information, how many offered free access. So what we need is we're trying to figure out the part. So how many out of 8,950 total libraries offered free access to electronic books? All we know is that it's 76 percent. Now how do we use 76 percent to figure out the part of 8,950? Well we need to do a few things here. Let's translate 76% into a fraction. So 76%, if we wanted to first make that into a decimal, that's our first step. We're going to move the decimal two times to the left. Move the decimal two times to the left. If there is no decimal, it always goes after the ones place. So we're going to move, put it right after the six. We're going to go one, we're going to go two, we're going to drop the percent sign, so now it's 0 0.76. Now how do I turn that into a fraction? Well, let's see. 76, this is the hundredths place, so I can just literally write it 76 hundredths. So 76% is equal to 0 0.76 is equal to 76 hundredths. That's going to be important for us. So let's just make this 76 hundredths. 76% is the same as 76 hundredths. Now, we know that they are equal here because the problem tied these two numbers together. They said 76% of them of this 8,950 public libraries there. So when we have an equivalent fraction, this is where we can get into our cross multiplication. So something, this missing number, times 100, is going to equal 8950 times 76. So let's see what 8950 times 76 is. That's going to be our first and our biggest uh, type of operation we're going to have to do here. When I do 8950 times 76, I'm not going to bring the comma over. I don't want to get confused. I think it's a 1. So real quick, let's see, that's 0, and that's going to be 30. 9 times 6 is 54, add the 3, 57. And then 6 times 8 is 48, add the 5, 53. So I've got 53, 700. And let's do this 7 times 0, 0, 35. And we got 9 times 7, that's going to be 63. 66 with that extra 3, sometimes. 8 is 56, add that 6 is 62. Now that's a lot of multiplying. What are we going to get here? We're going to get, that's 12, that's 10, and that's 8. So 680,200. So that's what this equals, 680,200. This just equals 100 times our unknown, right? That's our question mark, is what we need. Now, how does that help us? Well, let's write this like this right here. So 680,200 equals 100 times this question mark. Well, what we start learning in algebra is that you can do the same thing to both sides of the equations. And it stays the same. What if we were to divide both of these by 100? Well, guess what we got? We cancel those out, and if we divided this by 100, that's the same as moving the decimal over twice, once, twice, and guess what we get? 6,802.